What's going on guys? Welcome to another unboxing first impression. Today I have three fragrances here that are fairly new. Some of these were released a couple months ago. Some of these were released a month ago. Nevertheless, I have Lacoste Match Point. I have Eccentric Molecule 05. Can't believe they're already in their fifth installment of this collection. And last but not least, a house that I truly love and you guys do it as well, Isimiyaki Fusion Dissay. Guys, you wanna check these out? Stay tuned, I'm doing the impressions up next. Welcome back to another video. First impressions unboxing today. These three fragrances that you guys learned about in the beginning of the video. So let me get these open. So Lacoste Match Point, from what I hear, from what I understand, not readily available, not very easy to find out there. But from what I get, it's going to be a rather clean scent, if you will. Anyway, I can't wait to try it. I love the color green here. The actual scent itself is inspired by tennis, hence the name Match Point that you would say on a, on a tennis match. It, the, the top here, the cap is very similar to the actual handle of a um, tennis racket. So I do like, it's got the green color here that matches the green of the tennis court. So I do enjoy the actual presentation here and I can't wait to try this one. Now, Eccentric, Eccentric Molecule 05 is actually another collection here that gets quite a bit of talks in the fragrance community here on, on YouTube. People do enjoy this particular collection. So yeah, this is a particular line that gets a lot of limelight here in the community. You know, ever since they released Molecule 01, which, you know, is one of people's top videos and makes a lot of top lists. This one here, I don't know much about, so I can't wait to try it. But I do like the color of the juice. It's like a yellowish, you know, darker juice. And last but not least, guys, Isimiyaki is a fragrance house from designer, as I said to you guys many times before, one of my favorite designer fragrance houses at this point. They're doing a much better job than some of the juggernaut top brands out there, you know, Dior, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, you know, I'm really, even Chanel. So I'm really, you know, enamored with what these guys are doing over the past few years, you know, incredible releases. This one here is an altogether new uh, release. You know, this is called the Fusion. So it's like a new, even the bottle, it's got more of the rounder look to it. The cap is a lot different. It's almost like these shards were taken off. So I do enjoy the presentation here. I'm hoping it's a good scent. So let's get into it. All right, so with this particular first impression here, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna spray my skin and I'm gonna spray the test strip. Sometimes, you know, I get ahead of myself and I even forget where I sprayed. So I'm gonna make sure I keep, you know, track here. So starting with match point, let's start with this one right here, the green scent. Let's see what we get from this one. Sprays are nice. Okay, so. Right off the bat, what I get here is a very similar taste. It's very easy to like, it's very um, easy to wear. It's clean, a little bit fresh, a little bit soapy. Get a, a little bit of a vibe that you would get from, you know, Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua, but it's not so much that sweet bubble gum that you get. It's like a more mature version of that scent. So it is quite nice. Let me spray my skin here because sometimes, you know, most of the time you get a different take on your skin that you get on the actual test strip. So let's wait for this to dry down and I'll give you, we'll go back to this one. Uh, next up we have Molecule 5, which again, the series is actually a good series. People talk about this particular series here. The whole collection of molecules gets a lot of talks. Performance is usually an issue with this one. This is actually a good scent. And what I'm getting here off the top it's reminding me of Ormond Jane, Ormond Man, which is not a bad thing. So let me spray my, uh, so it's like a very spicy, peppery, uh, almost instancy kind of a vibe. Let me spray my wrist here and we'll go back to this one, but it's giving me very, very close resemblance to Ormond Jane, Ormond Man, which I do love. Last but not least, we'll get to Isimiyaki Fusion Dise, which I was really uh, hyped up about this fragrance because again, it's Isimiyaki and lately Isimiyaki has been doing a fantastic job. So, okay. This one here has a very creamy vibe to it. I'm detecting a little bit of sandalwood going on. There's something fruity in here that perhaps it's somewhat like a, somewhat, somewhat like a coconut slash fig. It could be a couple different things that's giving me this vibe. Let me spray my arm here and we'll go back to this one as well. But so far from a quick first impression, if I smelled all three fragrances and had to pick one, I would go with this one, but let's wait a few minutes and see how these fragrances would transition. Let's talk about notes as well. All right, so Match Point is going to have a lot of familiar notes like Cashmere, which is very similar to Ambrox, and it's gonna be that sweet, uh, woodsy kind of a facet that we get with Match Point. 
Again, a little bit of a green tinge. There's some basil in here, some herbaceous notes. I do like it. I think it's a more, like I said, a more mature version of Paco Rabanne Invictus. If you like that fragrance, but you wanted something a little bit more gentlemanly-like, a little bit more, you know, um, mature, you know, a little bit more uh, gentleman-like, I think this would be a great one. I, I would suggest if you want to pick this up, check it out. Perhaps at this counter, I think Fragrance by Dati already has this on discount. And you can probably pick up a bottle for the office. I think this would be great for day wear, uh, casual errands. I'm not going to give you too much here in this video because it's basically a first impression. But I want you guys to name your fragrance choice from these three that you want to see a full review with. You know, performance, you know, best settings, seasons. As you guys know, a full-fledged review. Let me know down in the comments. First choice that you want to see a full review. The second choice and the third and last choice. But... I get, like I said, a sweet, herbaceous, woodsy kind of, a, you know, scent profile here, which is very nice, very easy to wear. Morning would be the most conducive time for this, perfect for office or casual errands. Just go back real quickly to match point before I go into the next one. Yes, so sweet, woodsy, um, and herbaceous, like a green, sweet, woodsy kind of a scent. Very easy to wear. Next up, we have the Eccentric Molecules 05. Which again, it's gonna have like an orange tear there, a mess kind of a vibe meets Ormond Jane, Ormond Man. So if you took both fragrances and combined, that's kind of like the stuff that I'm getting here. Pink pepper, some creamy sandalwood in the base. Um, definitely very spicy up top with that orange feel. Kind of like what you get with Tao de Amez. So I do enjoy the scent. I think there's vetiver here for sure. There's some cypress here. There's some resins here. So the scent's going to be green. There's some juniper berries as well. So. It's gonna be a little bit spicy, very woodsy, and somewhat green. I think this is definitely more mature than even this one here. So if you like Ormond Jane, Ormond Man, if you like those kind of peppery type of woodsy scents, you're gonna enjoy this one, but I think this is even more mature than Match Point. Uh, let me give a quick note here, a quick grade. So Match Point, off the bat here, first impression, I'm giving this one a six and a half out of 10. It's a good scent, but not great. It's nothing uh, groundbreaking, but it, you know, I gotta spend more time with it. Just, this is just a first impression. Molecule 05, Accenture Molecules 05. This would be like an eight out of 10. I do like the scent profile a lot. I just have to see how it's going to develop on my skin and if it's gonna change too much and you know, performance and all that good stuff. But right off the bat, eight out of 10. I really enjoy this one. And last but not least, we have, all right, so going back to Fusion, I had really high hopes for this one, and I'm thinking this is my least favorite right now. I'm giving it a six and a half out of 10, uh, even six out of 10, and here's the deal. I can't believe Isimiyaki did it, but they had to do it, everyone's doing it. So this is like your, your blue Ambroxan type of scent. There's coconut water, there's fig here. I got that right from the beginning. You're gonna get that if you're familiar with the note of coconut, if you're familiar with the note of figs, you're definitely gonna get that from the introduction. It's gonna be very predominant, and it's quite good. I do enjoy coconut and fig fragrances. The, my beef with this fragrance is that it is very common. It's a very generic kind of a feel that I get here. Very bluish type scent, you know, Dylan Blue, bluish. It's gonna have a lot of those bluish type of DNA and scent profiles in here, along with that fig and coconut, which is a good thing. But I didn't like that they're borrowing that Ambroxan sweet, bluish feel that it's been done to death. So. A little bit of let down here, but I guess they had to do it. Everyone's doing it, so they had to jump in this bandwagon and offer this youthful and Broxton sweet blue type of a genre as well. But I like the darker stuff that I talked about from this brand over the past few years. You see me, Aki, please stick with the darker scents because I think you do a great job when you combine likability, you know, with the dark facets in the Noir, Noir Umbra or in Sons, Polaris, which was a great release. So those are the type of fragrance that I'm looking forward to wearing, you know, Pulse of the Night from this particular brand. This is going safe, it's going generic, it's going too mass appealing. It's not a bad scent, it smells good. Like I said, six and a half-ish, six out of 10, because I have a ton of fragrances in this character, but it's not bad. And again, once I wear it more, it's just a first impression, it might grow on me. But so far, this is my first impression for these three fragrances. Let me know in the comments, guys, have you tried any of these three? Are you looking forward to checking these out yourselves? And I also want you guys to let me know which 2020 new releases you guys want me to review next, guys. Besides these, what other fragrances you guys want me to review on the channel from 2020, guys? Sound off in the comments. Before I let you guys go, don't forget to check out the description, not for the fragrances, but for Scent Explorer 2020. The date has been set. It's going to happen December 5th, 2020. All details linked below. By the time you're watching this video, chances are the website's up and running. So you guys can check out the brands, the speakers, who's gonna be joining us. We've got some musical guests this year. 
some incredible stuff for you guys and a chance to get, not a chance to get, if you're joining us, you know what, I'm not gonna say anything else. Go check out the link, go check out the site, and I'll talk to you guys later. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, the Important Sense Facebook group that has almost 19,000 members so you guys can stay in the know within the fragrance world. And if you like to stay in the know, if you like what I do here, guys, please show your support. It's very important. Leave me a like, click the little subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon so you get videos like these, new releases, top videos, first impressions, chances to save and win a lot. Guys, show your support. I love you for it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, remember, fragrance is emotion and motion, so wear what truly moves you. See you again soon.